In December 2008, it hit the worst snowstorm in almost half a century. Where the Pacific Northwest has had its share of winter storms, they rarely last more than a few days and are mild in comparison to other parts of the country. When the weather report came in, the people of Oregon prepared. They stocked up on food and firewood just in case. Everyone thought there was no need to worry, as winter storms never last more than a few days, and the snow never adds up to more than a few inches. So it was quite a shock when they were still digging out after almost two weeks. Food had begun to run out, and the firewood was long gone. Many were out of power and cold. Those who were not snowbound were helping in any way possible. Shelters opened for the homeless, and neighbors were checking on the elderly. The stranded were rescued by friendly strangers. When a reporter asked a man stuck on the freeway how long he had been waiting for it to reopen, he told that he was out of his diabetic medicine. Before long, the news station received a call from a woman who lived near where the man was. She said that she would walk to him with medicine he desperately needed. Everywhere you looked, people were helping a stranger. No one cared about race, religion, and no, and no one asked about political affiliation. What mattered was our helping our fellow man. Truly, we were brothers and sisters. Hate had taken a holiday, and the real Christmas spirit was seen by all. It is my Christmas wish that this could be this way always, hate-free.